Good afternoon. This is uh, Midday Devotions at Redeemer Lutheran Church. I apologize for uh, our earlier uh, technical difficulties. We had a problem with the sound on the tablet here, and uh, so I think we got it figured out now. Um, it's a great week for uh, the church year because this coming Sunday is Good Shepherd Sunday, which is always the fourth Sunday in e of Easter. And so we're really excited because we uh, have the opportunity to dwell on some very beautiful and very comforting passages of Scripture. And probably one of the most comforting of those is the psalm that goes with Good Shepherd Sunday, which, of course, is the 23rd Psalm. In the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As we listen to the 23rd Psalm, it's really important that we don't think about ourselves as sheep. We know what sheep are, and we know what you know, kind of trouble sheep can get themselves into, but that's not what the psalm is about. The psalm is about the shepherd. The psalm is about how the shepherd cares for us provides for us, protects us, and is with us in, throughout our lives in the most difficult situations and the most dire situations. You know, the first words that we hear is, are the fact that our Lord is there and we never have to worry about anything as far as being in need. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. There's nothing that we're going to lack. There's nothing that we're going to be missing. There's nothing that we're going to be disappointed in as far as our good shepherd when we trust in him. Trust in him to care for us, to lead us, to guide us, to provide us with that which we need and not to give us those things that would be harmful, harmful to us. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. See, that's restoration of soul is the best gift that we can have from our good shepherd. We were the lost, separated from God. Our soul was dead in sin. And he restores it. He gives it life. He renews our spirituality by his own resurrection. And with that, we are connected to it in the waters, the still waters of our baptism. And he leads us there in the paths of righteousness. You see, it's only in righteousness that we get into heaven. Only the righteous enter there. And so that path of righteousness leads us to heaven itself, everlasting life. And as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and isn't that what we're doing right now? As we, we think about all that's going on in our world and we hear about the number of cases rising and the death toll rising, you know, we're indeed walking through the valley of the shadow of death. And it's not that the Good Shepherd pulls us out of that shadow of death, but it's the Good Shepherd walks with us through that shadow of death. He is there to watch over us, guide us, protect us, and to keep us in the straight and narrow. And that's why it says, your rod and I, your staff, they comfort me. The rod and the staff of a shepherd is used to, to ward off the enemy, to beat back the enemy, to uh, destroy the enemy. And that's what Jesus did for us. So even in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, we walk with him without fear because we know he's there giving us strength and protection and love. So even when 
we eat in the midst of enemies, enemies of sin, death, and the power of the devil, you know, we have our Savior with us. He's anointed our head. He's chosen us to be his own, selected us, and washed us with the waters of baptism and given us new life. And so therefore, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I share with you these words as this morning, one of our longtime members, a dear friend, Elmer Nino, was called home to be with his Lord. In the last words of the psalm, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Elmer knew that, believed it, trusted in it. And I pray that you too would know it, believe it, and trust in it. That there's a place for each and every one of us in the house of the Lord forever. May the Good Shepherd be with you today and always. God bless.